In July, a giant electromagnet completed a 3,200 mile journey from Brookhaven National Laboratory in Long Island to its new home at Fermilab in Batavia. We were there to capture the final leg of the muon G-2's month-long journey. Yay! Onlookers cheered in the early morning as the 50-foot circular electromagnet finally arrived at its new home. The biggest risk to the project is uh, now retired. We're sitting here with this uh, device. We just get to put it back together now. The fun part starts. The Muon G-2 traveled 3,200 miles from New York, down the Atlantic coast, through the Gulf of Mexico, up the Mississippi River, and finally landed by barge in Lamont. From there, it took three nights to drive to Batavia, closing streets and interstates along the way. The Muon G-2 will study the wobble of muons, subatomic particles with a lifetime of only 2.2 millionths of a second. The idea is to see if there's any new physics out there that we don't know. So we have, we have this thing called the standard model, which describes particle physics really, really, really well. And we're trying to poke holes in it. You know, we're experimentalists. So you know, the theorists tell us, well, this is the way nature should be, and we check it. And we're hoping, you know, it'll be very exciting to find something that the theory d d doesn't explain. Because then that means that there's new physics going on, and, and, and that would be very cool for us to do. To build a new electromagnet would have cost about $30 million. To move only cost about $3 million. But it was a tricky process. The muon G-2 couldn't twist or it would damage the ring entirely. It's made out of metals and uh, aluminum mainly, copper, but there's a special metal that, it's, that, that's, that it uses called niobium titanium. It's like as fine as, your, as human hair. If the magnet twists, then we have the possibility of, of breaking these very delicate strands. In charge of moving the device was Emmer International, an Oregon-based company that specializes in heavy haul transportation. We're just so fortunate. We have great guys that have great depth perception. And remember, they have the guys on the ground when they get into tight spots. There's a man on each side watching to make sure we have the clearance, all radio communication. And we just take it slow and easy to make sure the load drives perfectly safe. <laughs> At the end of the journey, Fermilab had a party where people could watch as the Muon G-2 traveled across the campus, landing at its final home. This is exciting. I just love the fact that Fermi is getting some new things to be able to work on. Um, the science behind it is fascinating. I think it's a good thing for the laboratory. I like all the PR it's brought to the laboratory and it goes to show that science is still going on at Fermilab. We're not, it's not dying. Fermilab is building a new facility where the electromagnet will be housed that will be done in January. Fermilab plans to move the magnet to its new home in 2014. The Muon G-2 is expected to be ready to collect data in 2016.